So now that we have the whole thing configured, let's test it out. All right. Well, first of all, let's see if we can ping across the switches to the host that's in the VLAN on the other side. So we'll open up uh, PC1 and we will run, let's see if we can run a ping. All right, and we can run a ping. So that's pretty cool. But what would be nice is, I'm going to up arrow that and then minimize this. What would be nice is if we could see it happen. So I'm going to go to simulation mode and then I'll do edit filters, turn everything off, then leave ICMP, which is the protocol for ping, right? And let's see if we can stretch this out a little bit. Um, hit auto capture play and clear the event list and then bring this back up and run the ping. All right. There's the ICMP and we'll just play. And there goes the ping. I wanted to see what path it took. So there goes the So now it's got a choice here. Now this is the root bridge right here. All right. Okay, so there's that ping right there. All right, so we can see the path it took to do that. Right, this is the root bridge right here. Now let's try the same thing out, but pinging another device. So we'll we'll stop that, okay, and we'll have this PC run a ping. All right, so this PC will ping 192.168.5.101. All right, and hit enter. All right, and there's the ping ready to go. We'll hit play. All right, there goes the ping. We'll speed it up a little bit. All right, there it goes. Notice it goes this way. So this PC, right, is pinging this PC over here on VLAN 5, and the, the um, packet took a different route to get there, right? which is pretty much indicative of the fact that we've got two different root bridges here for two different VLANs, which is two different spanning trees. So I'll stop that, go back to real-time mode, slide this over. Okay, let's take a look at this PC. So we're talking about S5, which is the bottom left-hand corner, and enable and show spanning tree and you can see that this PC sees two instances of spanning tree protocol. It sees one for VLAN 1 and one for VLAN 5, right? Well it's got the two VLANs, right? And it sees a different root bridge. Let's see here. VLAN 5 root ID 6AB7, right? And then for for this VLAN 1 the root bridge is DDD, right? And so it sees the two root bridges, and so this switch is telling us, hey, that this root bridge is the root bridge for VLAN 1, this one's the one for VLAN 5, and so it has different uh, scenarios, right? It'd be nice to see which ports are the blocked ports. Um, we can see that on this switch, if we run a show span, and we see that for VLAN 1, let's see here, both of its ports are in forwarding mode, right? Forwarding mode, designated ports, right? VLAN 5, it's got a, for VLAN 5, it's got a port in blocking mode, right? Gigabit 1. So for this switch, for, um, for VLAN 1, both ports are forwarding, but for VLAN 5, this port right here is blocking mode. So both forward, both ports are working for VLAN 1 STP, and for VLAN 5 STP, this port right here is blocking mode. So that's pretty interesting. So that's why the packet went from here 
to here, and then instead of going to here, it actually went here, right? So um, I thought that was pretty good. Let's see this switch. Hit enter, enable, show, span, and forwarding, forwarding, forwarding. Notice it has a root port, which port, which um, is the closest to the root bridge, right? And that's for, um, and then these are all forwarding. So uh, no blocking ports on this switch. So this is the blocking port here. And my guess is is that this port would be blocking for the other um, VLAN. So anyway, I hope that was uh, interesting and, and helpful to talk about uh, PVST plus, uh, per VLAN spanning tree plus protocol. Um, the uh, the trunks are running by default 802.1Q, which would lead me to believe that this is an implementation of PVST plus that's happening on these switches by default. Just to verify that, let's open up one of these switches really quickly. So this switch has two gigabit trunks. What we'll do is we'll say, just to verify, I'll show you that I did a show interface gigabit one slash one switch port, and you can see it's enabled. The mode is a trunk, and that the trunking encapsulation is dot one Q, which is 802.1Q by default. So this would indicate that um, that the protocol running would be uh, PVST plus, which runs off the 802.1Q protocol and is a Cisco protocol.